Today, I will be showing you how to download Maxploit. First, scroll to the bottom of the page until you find this. This one is for you if you are an admin on your Mac. If you are not, then use this other one. In my case, I am an admin of my Mac, so I will be using the admin one. Now copy it and open up terminal. Paste it using Ctrl plus V. You can also install it via their Discord server. The server invite will be displayed on the screen. Go to the download channel and scroll up. Also, when you install Maxploit for the first time, it will ask for a license key. You can start a three-day free trial, but I will still show you how to buy a license key for permanent access. First, go to the purchase page and scroll down. Select whether you want a lifetime or monthly license key. Now, enter your email and then press continue. You can select from four different payment methods. You can also purchase a key from their Discord server. If you prefer human interaction, the support are very fast at responding. Anyway, since Maxploit has been downloaded, let's do a test run. Open up Maxploit. The port should display online. If it is red and says offline, then click on the port until it says online. These settings are proven to be the best. Auto execute is optional, but I'll show you how to use it after this. Let's test some Lua. It obviously worked. Now I will show you how to use auto execute. First, enable the setting. Then open up text edit. I was already within the folder, but for you, click on the documents tab and click on the Maxploit auto execution folder. New document. Click on format, then make plain text. Now get your script. I'm using infinite yield and copy and paste it into the file. Now press Ctrl plus S to save the file and name it. Rejoin the server slash game for it to work. Now let's do a SUNC test. Copy the script from the SUNC Discord. Now join the game. The script only works in this game. Clicking this button will create a new tab. Very useful for when you want to execute multiple scripts at once. Don't make the same mistake as me of forgetting to reconnect the port. It only failed one test and outputted 98%, which is very high. If you want to view the results yourself, it's in the description of this video.